Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your Feng Shui Friday video for this week. And we've got three Feng Shui tips for feeling calmer. This is something I think we all need during this crazy time that we're in uh, with the coronavirus. So those that are watching this maybe years from now, right, will be like, what was going on? Well, we had the whole coronavirus um, going on right now. So a lot of people are sequestered to their homes, a lot of people working from home and just needing that sense of feeling calmer. So let's get right to the tips. Um, the first tip I have for you is when you come home. Uh, so sometimes now it can be very stressful when you leave your home, right? And so it's really, really important when you come home that you feel calm as you enter. One of the ways to create that sense of calm is to have somewhere to set your things. So like having a place to set your purse, your wallet, your car keys, right? Um, so that when you come home, you, you don't feel like you're like, you know, burdened of having to carry these things into maybe another room to set them down, right? Um, so for me, I know that I have a specific place that I actually store my purse uh, when I am home. And because I typically don't need anything that's in there other than my glasses and my cell phone, right? And so I'll pull those two things out and then I'll tuck my purse into its little cubby. So I encourage you to create uh, a space. If um, you can have like a little table or something there that you can physically set stuff on right away when you come in, um, that would be really, really good. I'll put a link below to um, the front door videos. Um, I have a blog and some videos related to that that will give you some more ideas um, related to the front door. But this, I'm just talking about the door that you come in, which a lot of times is people's garage, um, at least in um, the Midwest, <laughs> it always was, right? Uh, so the second tip I have for you is clearing horizontal surfaces. So when you have a lot of stuff cluttering your countertops, cluttering your desk, clutter, cluttering your um, dresser, right? Um, it's very like heavy energy, it clouds your mind and it makes you feel uneasy. And so my encouragement here is to clear horizontal surfaces. So you can even try this like with your dresser, clear everything off of there and leave it off of there for a week or two, right? And then see how you feel, see how that makes you feel, and then decide what do I now want to put back on the dresser, right? Uh, you can do that same thing with any number of surfaces. Um, but clearing those horizontal surfaces will help you feel calmer, okay? The third tip I have for you is in the bedroom. Uh, so we want to feel calm in the bedroom. That should be our just amazing oasis, right, in the home. And so a couple of things I encourage you to do before you go to sleep. Um, one of those is if you have a TV in your bedroom, cover it. Uh, because that's a um, energetic drain on you while you're sleepy. Um, I encourage you to pull it out of the bedroom if you can possibly do that. Um, definitely would recommend that. Um, the other thing with the bedroom is to close your closet doors and close your bathroom door. That's going to help you feel, feel calmer to be able to sleep. Keep work out of the bedroom, okay? So it's, it's not going to give you a sense of calm and peace if you have a whole bunch of work and a whole bunch of books sitting around in there. And then the last little thing with this, it's actually, I'm thinking three tips, but I'm giving you a whole bunch of them here, right? Um, the last thing is to hang a small round crystal in the center of your bedroom, or you can hang it from the light, light fixture. And what that does is it helps balance the energy, right, um, in the space. So um, particularly if you have any arrows aiming at you, or if you have a lot of windows in the bedroom, this can sort of help balance the energy. Great for kids' bedrooms as well. Uh, so those are my three plus a bunch of tips for feeling calmer using feng shui. Much love and aloha.